Hello everyone, welcome back to Intruder in Anticonia. We are on our, our uh, the current mission, wow words, my goodness. The current mission that we need to do is find the symbols that we found here. And um, we figured out that one, we figured out that one, and we need to figure out that one. And she said something about the color ink, so we need to somehow get our hands on color ink. Oh, this is new. Hello, sir. Uh, Oresme. My name is Nicolas Oresme, but you can call me Nico. Nice to meet you, Nico. Um, are you still interested in living here for good? Oh, that was the tourist. <laughs> of course. I want my ashes to be spread in the main square. Uh, is that allowed? If you thought of buying a house around here, maybe even build your own. Um, I'll have to think about it. You want to grab a coffee? Come on. Oh, that was a uh, very interested come on. Hi guys, what can I get you? Two coffees, please. Should I add them to your tab as usual? Uh, yes, please. I don't have any change today. Well, let's see how that goes by the end of the month. Oh, Grimes, how many coffees do you owe, Claudia? How do you know my name? Samuel has talked very highly of you. Lilo? What a charming man. I was surprised to know that Leo's true name was Samuel Campillo. I don't really remember how he ended up with that nickname. Everyone knows about the disappearance of his daughter. But you didn't know that he was the father of Lil Eva? No, I actually learned about it the other day while speaking with the three old guys. Poor thing. Must have gone through so much pain. I can't even imagine the feeling when his daughter went missing. It was unbearable. He was completely changed. How? He used to be a very cheerful and pleasant man. The first time we talked, he seemed to be a man of few words. He was young. He couldn't stop talking. There's no way I can see that. That's how he made his wife fall in love. I didn't know he was married. I'd rather not talk about that. Wait, you are his wife? Samuel told me that he used to own this place. And that the business was going well. So why did he quit then? After his daughter went missing, he didn't want to deal with people anymore. It must have been a hard blow. Especially when the investigation ended. Nobody ever figured out what happened to the girl? There was a lot of talking around. A lot of fake leads. And that is what made him quit the bar, right? Right. I offered to buy it from him and then I added the store. Okay. How long have you been living in Anticonia, Claudia? I was born and raised in this town. It's a quiet place to live in. That's for sure. It couldn't be quieter. You must be happy. Yes. Although, I hope that you're not one of those online players because we are completely isolated here. To be honest, I can't imagine life without internet. Ah, this town used to be so different. Claudia, I'm sure it wasn't that different. Back then, tourism was booming. There were festivals, guarded tours at the convent. I didn't get to see those times. Well, what did you expect after everything that went down? I don't understand. After Lilo's daughter went missing, the town was full of journalists. Ah, okay. They turned everything upside down. It was a big mess. And just to sell more newspapers. Disgusting. Since she wasn't their daughter, they couldn't care less. People in this town truly changed after that. Understandable. People didn't want any more outsiders. To say that I felt welcome though. Well, things are much better now. Of course, nobody comes here anymore. Have you realized how much they hate the internet? 
Uh huh. I noticed. They were about to remove all the satellite dishes. I can see how they felt about the internet then. When they came selling all these internet connections, almost everyone turned it down. Let's see. That makes sense. Do you sell printer ink? Hey, that is actually interesting. I only have essential goods here. Thank you very much. I'll keep looking. All right. Hey, and I also <laughs> do not want to add more to Kareem's tab. Or more. It's like we already did the coffee. So can we still... He's focused on the decoration of the bar. So we can, add, we can talk to Kareem. Do you see the symbol anywhere? To be honest, no. I I probably do. It's probably there. See, Karim, the arcade is one of the symbols. I have no coins. Could there be something hidden inside it? Leave the machine alone if you want to play, use a coin. Oh, come on, Claudia doesn't allow me to toy around here. I need to open the box of the arcade machine. I doubt Claudia will let that happen. How can we distract her? There's gotta be a way. I can only think of one person who knows this bar as well as Claudia. Yeah, me too. Samuel L. Gardiner. Hi, Samuel. Hello. You look very serious. Can I help you? We wanted to ask you for advice. I'm all ears. Do you remember those papers that I showed you? That a hundred year old town map? Of course I do. When you place the transparent paper on top of it, each symbol matches a building. One of the symbols can be seen on Claudia's place. So? It's also painted on the arcade machine. We need to hack it to see if it leads anywhere. But Claudia won't let us. I wouldn't blame her. Those machines are very profitable. We don't want to break it. We just want to see what's inside. Ha! <laughs> I don't doubt your intentions. Listen to me. When I hit the arcade machine, it was a pinball, wasn't it? That's right. Kids would use coins tied to a thread to play free games. Did you let them do that? Of course not. But they would call me on the phone. Why? Because if I went to grab the phone, I couldn't see the machine anymore. What a brilliant idea. Ha! Ah, those were the times. So I need a coin on a string I've come to speak with Samuel you still have one left there and there and there and there and there oh my god we need a coin on a string we need to call her to distract her you wouldn't miss this for anything in the world can we still talk to you guys to see if there's something new what do you want to do do you want to offer us a great 4G package excuse me a case that you didn't know you're in Anticonia. Here we go again. Do you know this town's a sin? I know all the voices are over the place. You never set up any Wi-Fi password as long as I breathe. I wanted to ask you about this map. I'd like to be Mick Jagger, but I'm 80 years old. Wait a moment. What map are you talking about, young girl? Shut your mouth, Balthazar. You'll end up in a nursing home before you realize it. Excuse me, what are you trying to say? And she'll take your inheritance before you blink your eye. Just by looking at a map? Yes, she wants your land. I think we lost them. I think that it would be better to let them focus on the pitonk. Yeah, those guys are crazy, man. Alright, so... Can we ask her? Yeah, I don't think she's going to be the one placing the ink cartridges, but there's... I don't want to sleep. <laughs> Where can we find... 
ink cartridges may be there. I can't help you right now. I'm mentally reviewing my shopping list. Fine. Can we go through this door? We don't. We still do not have the key card. All right. So maybe something at the police station. Hello, Julia. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Corinne. <gasps> There's a printer there. Any updates on my identity? Uh, they have found several Sarah computers in Madrid. Really? But none with an H at the end of their name. Could it be a typo in her ID? I have identified every single one of them and there is no Sarah. Guess that I'm a shadow. You are difficult to track, Sarah Campillo. Should I say I'm sorry? I will keep looking. Will you keep me informed? I'll let you know if I come across anything. Thank you. Let me know immediately if you remember anything new. It comes without saying, officer. How's your day? So far, so good. Tell me, what are you guys doing around here? Sarah noticed that the guest house printer is out of color. Are you back to your old ways? I told you that I didn't want to see you near any computer. I was just doing Ida a favor. The guest house's receptionist? Yeah, she needs color cartridges and I'm not sure what to buy them. What about you, Carmen? Can you tell her where to get them? I don't have a printer. I always print my stuff in a store in the city. Well, don't worry if that's your issue. You can take these. Hey, we got our printer cartridges. Nice. If you live around here, anything related to technology... Either you buy it in the city or you're done. Thought so, yeah. We don't do our paperwork in fancy colors. Hey, but this one looks like uh, one of those ink cartridges that's actually too expensive. All of them are, by the way. Town Square. So now we got these. It's not a smart move as Ida is going to be watching. Hi, Ida. We have a surprise for you. You know I love surprises. Ah, right, Karim. Uh, hmm. How lucky, I still have some photos I couldn't print. Do you want me to install the cartridges? That would be great. I'm not very good with technology. Ha! <laughs> Bingo. Yeah, you don't get well on you don't get on well with technology, that's for sure. You know me well, Kareem. Let me test the printer to see if everything's okay. Sure, go ahead. It's the symbol that appears right above the guest house on the map. A six point star? A hexagon? Is that supposed to be in the town? I don't know of any building with six tips and even less in blue. I don't think that we're dealing with a building, Kareem. No, these are the lights. Because I re recognize that symbol, a star of David with three tips in one color and the remaining three in another. Right, so we got that settled. Wait, can we use your phone, maybe? Yeah, I know. Uh... Wow, the one right beside the bar owner is Samuel. Hey! There it is! Lucy Dreaming! Hey, it's my favorite adventure game. This is for those that don't know, because I've been... Uh, I mean, I've been in touch with Aruma Studios ever since uh, Quantum Derail. Um, so I noticed every little bit of development on this game, and they had one of those... How do you call those again? Man, English. Um, there was a prize you could win? It's like a, a lottery thingy, a, a draft. No, that's not the word that I'm looking for. It's a, uh, well, you know, you put all the names into it in a hat and then you pull out a name. I think, I believe it was one of those things. Um, but in that case, was if, if you're one of the their newsletter subscribers, I think it was, then you would be able to get 
a spot in the game. And uh, Lucy Dreaming, which is another adventure game currently in development, uh, they won and they, they put the picture, so that's Lucy. It's also a very fun, amazing game though. If you like LucasArts games, that's the one you need to play. This must be the phone Samuel told me about. What is the number of the phone? Wait, 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 go, move, 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 move. You're in the, okay. Claudius alone, the crazy tourist is gone. Kareem, do you know what it's the perfect time for? Well, not really. It's the perfect time for you to make a phone call. Sure. Why are you already walking there? The phone didn't even ring. Good, Claudia's distracted with something else. Oh, we don't even need a coin on a string. We don't want to play the game, we just want to take a look there. Game over, what happened? There's something hidden in the machine. Claudia's returned earlier than expected. Sorry, Shinger hung up at me. Uh, what are we going to do now? I need a coin. You know that I never carry any cash. Where can we get a coin? Yeah, he doesn't even have... What is that? I need a coin! Three... Three plastic bottles gives us a coin. That's a freaking handy clue. Hello, I got three plastic bottles. Great. It's the way to keep the town green. That's a very good proposal. Thanks. Here's your coin. Why, well, thank you. Can I now play? Have you ever stopped to think about who rules this world? Every day our planet dies a little more so that a few people can get richer. Nine million people died in 2015 alone due to air pollution. This pollution is caused by burning fossil fuels such as coal and oil. The rich get richer while the poor get closer to their grave. How much is the health of our kids worth? I don't think this is part of that game called Troy's Horse. This is the message that we're about to receive. How many people does Endless go on? How long can a politician's integrity last? What price have they set for their soul? Alright, so there's a big conspiracy thing going on here. 1984, I found something very juicy about the electric company. Will it lead anywhere? I think so. I hope so. We've been going in circles for almost a week. Is this a flashback? We're getting there. We're currently trying to hack it with Nord's info. I'll tell you later. Was this a flash? Was this a, a memory thing? Buying the town? Sarah. Sarah? Are you okay? Yes, I am. You look like you are spacing out. I was spacing out. Alright, so now we need to wait. We're afraid to be... Yeah, wait until it gets dark. So let's head here. No? I think he's as lost as me. Shall we just go to your apartment instead? Wait for it to get dark? Should we or... Should we what? Make out? No. What is all this? We searched everything that we could. Is there anything... Interesting... Here still or how do we how do we make it uh, darker she looks very concentrated here's some coffee you want some coffee coffee and guns great combination yeah catching cholesterol do they print the most wanted list of full color I have no idea we're not allowed to snoop around, it makes sense. What is that? That's new. I don't think... Oh, no, that's not new. It's funny, though. So, nothing here? 
What if we just move there? I don't know. There's nothing else here that we can do. Lots of little houses and small towns. Any Easter eggs? This, this seems like such a non-existing area. And by that I mean it's useless. It's absolutely non not existing but yeah we already figured this out but let's go back to the convent again give one left there and there and there and there and there and there and that's closed still i think i can hear the gregorian chants <laughs> adorable yeah there's nothing here so We'll have to wait until it gets dark, but how? When will it turn dark? We already, uh. We already did that. I. I don't know. There is trash cans everywhere. That over IT, yeah. Good place to place a garbage can. How can we pass time? You don't have to go to bed, but yeah, we we already know where to use that one, but. What can we do now? Do we still have to go back to Claudius? Yeah, we don't want to add more to Kareem's tab. It's already done its job. Oh. What were you saying? I was saying that one of these companies wants to buy the town. What? What do you mean by that? One of the companies from the video footage what is going on? It's been buying plots of land and houses in Anticonia. What for? Anticonia is an old mining reserve. Are there mines in this area? Not now, but years ago a huge coal seam was found. And they want to reopen the mines now, right? Exactly. Wouldn't that be good for the town though? Not at all industry and loads of people in pollution we don't want any of that the whole town is covered with their ads yeah they are trying to improve their image to make us think that it's for our own good i hope that nobody buys their lies although there are already people willing to believe i just remembered something from my past an image amazing i guess so you guess so. What have you seen? I was in front of a computer. Given your ability, I believe that many memories will be like that. How funny. Come on, what else did you see? A chat conversation on the screen. Who were you chatting with? I can't remember. Do you know what it said? It was about much, how much endless go pollutes the world. Endless go. Do you know what it is? It's a conglomerate of companies. I'm, I'm not following. It's a company that buys companies with different backgrounds. I'm still not following. For example, Endless Go owns a gas company, another one that deals with oil, and another one that focuses on coal mining. That's right. And they have probably diversified their assets on additional companies. Yeah, like a pharmaceutical company or a leading nutrition brand. In other words, they are everywhere. I should grab the coin and keep investigating. Grab the coin. Please indeed do that. Alright, so we got a coin back. That's a Bitcoin! I'm not sure, but I think that someone was watching. It's the government. They have been on my case for quite a while, I swear. That must be it. Now, we got a Bitcoin. 
There's something inside. <gasps> micro SD card. Can't wait to see the contents of this micro SD. Apple Kulo? We, we missed one line there. No, Stephanie Meyer. It's Twilight. Who? The one who wrote Twilight? Uh, it's okay. How did I know? Yeah, don't ask. See, this is the thing. All right, but we need to starve David. I know. Can we guide it there? So it's only the bottom three that, that are lit? It's that one. Oh, no, those should be lit and those should be turned off. Look, the shadows are making an arrow. The arrow is pointing at another street lamp. Uh, that one? What's in there? There was a piece of paper inside. Moreau? The Island of Dr. Moreau? That's also a book. Moreau? Sure? Yeah, what does the story of a mad scientist have to do with all this? I'm not sure, but it's something quite peculiar. What? That's the way Dr. Junkie calls his little lab at the medical center. Also, Dr. Junkie, come on. <laughs> Why? I'm not sure, but apparently that's his favorite book. Hey, everything's closed. I think it's better if you go to bed. I'm quite tired, actually. Let's talk tomorrow. Talk to you tomorrow, Sarah. Okay, it's sleepy, sleepy, nappy, nappy time. A soft, good mattress. Finally. <laughs>